what is going on everyone this is ninja geek here bringing you a video it, it, i guess it's kind of like a rant video i guess you could say you know i'm not trying to bash one or the other but we're going to talk be talking about the topic of google drive versus OneDrive. and of course if you're coming to this video you're probably thinking which one is better for you if you're going to uh, upgrade and buy the storage for OneDrive or google drive and you want an opinion uh i guess that's probably why you're here or i guess just to watch another one of my videos and uh by the way some different uh stuff going on, on my channel you know my live stuff and things like that so just check it out subscribe if you want to like the video whatever whatever you feel like doing is what you can do so anyway without further ado let's jump right into the actual video google drive versus OneDrive. now um I've, I know a lot of people that use Google Drive, I know people that use OneDrive, and uh, I, I don't really have an opinion, I guess you could say, on that from just those people, but we're going to get into detail here, into what they the, each different drive offers. So here we go, here we go, we have Google Drive offering 15 gigabytes of storage from the start, so you sign in with your Google account, and you get 15 gigabytes of storage, and that is that. Now, with OneDrive here, you get 7 gigabytes of storage. That's less than half, I guess you could say, because 7.5 is half of 15, so you get less than half, but... If you do use a mobile device or a tablet or an Android or a Windows phone or something like that, you could sign in, uh, upload, and back up your photos, and you get an extra 3 gigs. So basically, you know, most people like to do that. Most people do that anyway. So basically, I don't like to get the number 7. I like to give the number 10 because 10 is more of an accurate number because you add 3 to 7, and, and th there you go. So you got Google Drive with 15 and uh, OneDrive with 10 gigabytes of storage from the start without paying any money at all now obviously Google Drive is better there for the amount of gigabytes you get free but we're not done here now let's talk about videos all about any kind of video quality which you upload to Google Drive and OneDrive so first let's get into Google Drive I know that on Android devices I'm not particularly sure how this works but I know that you um, download the video somehow I don't know if it's saved in your camera roll or something like that I, d I know that you download it, you probably open up the app and it's there. And uh, on Google Drive on iPhone or iOS devices, what it does is it always streams it. It doesn't download the video, it streams it. Now what you want to do, because this is a cloud service, you want to be able to stream the video and watch it in the best resolution, the best quality that you can get it to be, to be watched in, which is why you're uploading it in that quality in the first place. So. Uh, so we have you watching a video in 720p. Now, with Android devices, when you download the video, I'm not particularly sure, like I said, so if you are on Android, you could probably tell me if I'm wrong or right. Um, you got, you download the video, and when you go to watch it, it's there, it's at 720p, whatever. But when you go to watch it, I mean... Uh, it, it stores it as a specific file. So like let's say the file is 300 megabytes, right? That's gonna take up 300 megabytes on my phone. I don't want it to do that. If I'm in a streaming cloud service, I want to get it without, you know, wasting space on my phone. And that's what they do on iOS, which is perfectly fine. The problem with it on iOS, on any iOS device, is that when you go to stream it, the quality is so bad that you might as well just not even watch it. Just click off of it. Because the quality is around like maybe 144 to 240 p at most it's just horrible quality there's no point in watching it and i'd rather have it streamed than being downloaded so that uh, you can you know watch it without having to take up space on your phone because here's the thing what's the point of downloading the video from google drive when you could just put the video if you at really wanted the video on your phone you could just put it on there without having to download it from google drive because i don't see how there's a way where uh, you, you could download the video and not take up space on your phone. You have to if you're downloading the video to your Google Drive uh, and saving it as an offline file. It has to be saved on your phone. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that's what they do with all, even with OneDrive they do that. If you make it an offline file, it saves it on your uh, phone or on your computer or whatever like that so you know that it's that's what happens and uh, you know you can't really do anything about that now you know I know that that's for a fact but I'm not sure about the Android part but anyway let's get into OneDrive now 
where the video quality, no matter what resolution, no matter what quality you upload it in, it is always spectacular. And the loading times for both. Uh, you know, when you're streaming the video on either Android or Windows Phone or iOS, the quality for OneDrive comes in perfectly fine. And it lo usually to take maybe like a 30 minute video, for example, it maybe it'll take like 30 seconds to, s to start streaming the whole thing. Google Drive takes like two minutes to start streaming on iOS, and then you have to watch it in 240p. So there you go. OneDrive is better for video watching. Now that, you know, that was a long segment, but we had to get the video quality and stuff out of the way before we could do anything else. So now let's get into the paying options, which is what a lot of people have are, are wa probably watching this video for. The main reason of this video is the paying options. Now, we're just going to be focusing on the 100 gigabyte options just to make kind of like a reference because normally if you're going to buy something, maybe you buy a little less than 100 gigabytes, maybe you buy a little more, but 100 gigabytes is usually the uh, standard, I guess you could say, for uh, figuring this stuff out. Now, for OneDrive, let me say, for example, I paid like 25 five dollars a year for the 50 gigabyte plan because you know that's really all I need but a hundred gigabytes from Google Drive it's around 199 per month which makes it around twenty five dollars a year so you're paying twenty five dollars a year for a hundred gigabytes uh, it's really that's actually really a cheap price when you think about it because when you look at one drive you're paying for a hundred gigabytes you're paying around $50 a year. Now, you know, that's an extra $25, but we're going to get into why that is in a minute. So, you know, you have your extra money for OneDrive, and Google Drive is cheaper. So now we're going to talk about the sync between Xbox mobile devices, tablets, Androids, Windows, Windows phones, and everything, and uh, the PC app and the platform with OneDrive. So uh, with PC... Or with OneDrive, you could do anything. You could go anywhere on your Xbox. You could save photos. You could view photos. You could, uh, or view the stuff, I guess you could say, in your OneDrive. On your PC, you could do it right from the app that it gives you. Uh, and on uh, mobile devices, any kind of tablets, Android phones, Windows phones, t uh, I think I said tablets, iPhones, iOS, whatever, whatever the case may be, you could always see OneDrive anywhere you go. Uh, all your photos that's that's a main part all the photos will go with you anywhere so you know if you lose them they're there whatever Google Drive on the other hand I doubt that it works with Xbox you could probably go on some on their internet or Bing or whatever look for Google Drive and go on it that way and like view your stuff but there's no set app I'm not pretty sure if there is I'm, I'm really not that sure but um it's not native within Xbox system so that's really out on PC, there's no native app that you can download from the internet to get a specific Google Drive app. It's not an app. It's it's like a uh, folder, and you put stuff in the folder, and it like goes online or something for their cloud service. So that's out. It's not on uh, PC. The only thing that it's on is mobile devices, tablets, Android phones, and probably Windows phones. I'm going to take a guess. Google Drive is like everywhere on there as an app. And then for PC, you'd have to go on the internet. So that is really a step down from that now go getting on to more about Google Drive and that the typing program is completely horrible on Google Drive it um you know for a free service you may think that it's okay but one thing that I really really wish that they would do is make sure that the pages are actual page sizes you know when I'm trying to print something on Google Drive it always comes out to be uh, the, the the words are all scrambled and I it's just weird it's random or randomly organized in a different way when I try and go and print it and that's another problem that I have with Google Drive is printing it uh, and saving it actually too, saving it uh, you know, because here's the thing. Okay, you know, I try and print it. You'd think that you could just print from Google Drive, like the internet itself. But uh, no, that's just not the case. If you wanted to print it at your home, of course, uh, that's just not the case. You have to uh, save it as a file in your computer, open it up, then print it. So it's a little weird, right? But here's where it gets a little bit weirder is where they save it as a PDF file. They save a text file as a PDF. I've seen people, you know, like save them as PDFs before, but I don't know why it decides to just transfer over the file immediately because it saves it as a doc file. I think it's just a Google doc file. And then to put it in your computer, it's a, it transfers it to PDF instead of like a rich text format file or a 
or any kind of text format file, which makes it a little harder because uh, people that don't have, uh, yeah, PDF file openers can't open the file. Or, I mean, I guess you could say people have PDF openers, and if they don't, you could just download one. But you can't really edit anything within the PDF uh, opener so it comes like that and when the pages are all messed up how like I mentioned before with Google Drive's horrible typing program it just makes it really confusing and really hard and frustrating to figure out now OneDrive on the other hand with the typing program you don't I, d I don't really think that there is a typing program within OneDrive itself which you know I mean Google Drive has one and OneDrive doesn't so that makes it you know more likely that people want Google Drive because they want to be able to type stuff but let's just back it up here uh, when you get to the OneDrive and you let's say you have a document in there let's just say and you want to edit it uh, if you're on your PC you just click it and it'll open it in whatever Word document file or program you have most likely you probably have one because if you don't I, I, I really don't know how not because there should be some sort of default file within there but you should be able to open up a document file so one way or another to your computer, edit it, and then save it back. And that program actually works pretty good. Like, for example, WordPad, a cheap program that comes right built in with Windows 8, I believe. Uh, right, uh, and probably even Windows 7, Windows Vista, whatever, Windows XP, whatever. Comes built in. And, you know, any kind of Word program, even Microsoft Word and stuff like that. You know, they all come built in with that. So, that, you know, they'll open up. You save it and then you put it back there so uh, that you know that that is definitely an enhancement to the uh, whole OneDrive experience and last but not least after we've discussed all of these things making it this really long video OneDrive is more expensive than Google Drive. Google Drive obviously mentioned. If you, I mean, let's just talk about it in the free. Pretend that you're not buying anything. Pretend you wanted to see which one is better just in general. The, um, which one is better just in general? Well, maybe you want to choose Google Drive for that. If you do not upload videos to any kind of uh, cloud service, like let's say you just want it strictly for documents and maybe some photos, Google Drive is better at that because documents, it can even no matter how terrible the typing program is, if you're going to save a document on there and you want to open it up somewhere else on your phone maybe, then you know maybe that's just an option for you. But if you are going to save videos on there and you're going to start printing your documents and you're going to start viewing like tens of thousands of photos, Google Drive isn't the best for that. Then you want to switch over to OneDrive for that, especially for the video aspect of it. Now, throw in the money aspect of it. So, okay, so like we mentioned, you're getting 100 gigabytes for around $25 a year with Google Chrome and, or yeah, Google Drive. And OneDrive is more expensive. Now, which one do I think this is a pretty lengthy video? So, what do I think? Coming down to the consensus of Google Drive versus OneDrive, I believe that OneDrive is better. And uh, all these reasons me lead me to believe that OneDrive is better at the end of everything. So, like I said before, leave me a comment if you have Android and you want to tell me more about that experience. Leave me a comment uh, to discuss what you like better personally. And uh, leave a like rating if you want to help out the video, you know, helps the channel grow and subscribe for more content. Like I said, I do more live comms and uh, more live stuff here on my channel. You know, this is a kind of a different video than I normally do. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Tomorrow's video will probably be like the worst about Black Ops 1. So anyway, whatever it happens to be, hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Ninja Geek. I'll see you on my next video. I'm out. Peace.